he's back again. I have him on my show. You guys, I got I had a town hall with them uh, for their premiere, the launch of the YouTube premium series, Cobra Kai. Season 2 is now available and streaming, and William Zapka is back. What's up, my man? What's up? Good to see you again. I still get giddy. Isn't that weird? Like, uh, you know, when oh, you yeah. just grow up with a teenage idol, and then they're on the show, you're like, oh my god! Oh, uh, yeah, we gotta do this every year. Uh, every year, every year. Uh, well, hopefully, there'll hopefully be at least... More. A, 10 to 12, right? Yes. That's what we want. That's right. That's right. Uh, congratulations. Uh, How was, what was the reaction like of, of, after of, season one? After season one was crazy. It was overwhelming. I think we had like 60 million views on episode one alone. Oh my so God. So it was, it was, it was nuts. I mean, we expected there to be fans and people to like it, but we didn't expect the, the kind of uh, reach back from the, from no, the fans worldwide. Those are Super Bowl numbers. Yeah. Yeah. yeah <laughs> Super Bowl numbers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad, and your character, the, the way they had brought it back is, is just everything. Where do, we, where do we go in season two with your character? Well, Johnny, at the end of season one, Kreese comes back into the dojo at the end, Johnny. They, Cobra Kai wins the All-Valley Tournament, of course, uh, yes. and, uh, of course but he, he's, uh, Johnny's struggling with that because uh, his, uh, his top student beat his son and using all these no-mercy tactics. So at the very end of season one, Kreese walks in and says, the real story's just begun. And indeed, the real story is just beginning. Karma's a bitch, isn't so, it? Yeah, so the man, the karma's a bitch indeed. So the man who built Johnny Lawrence and told him everything about Cobra Kai is back in his life. And it's kind of his father figure who he loves it's, and hates. And it's kind of a lot of pain involved, but it also wants to give a second chance to. And uh, so he's he's letting him have a little foot in his world. And, uh, and uh, Chris may or may not have good intentions with that. Now, I mean, as an actor, this has to be so much more fun than the than the film because your character's so dynamic yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. It's great. I mean, it's a, in this format in ten episodes, you can go so deep. You know, it's a five hour film, really much, pretty much carved up into ten pieces. Right. So, you but know, you're not like just the bad guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One it, note in a film. This no. is you get to be human. Yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. He gets to be have all the different levels and dimensions, which I said when I when they pitched it to me, I said I don't want to just be set up to take the fall again, you know. This has got to be a deep round character and the, and the writers are incredible. Uh, they and are. They've done they've served it up. They've done it totally. They got it right. The music's great. Uh it's fun working with Ralph. These kids how are amazing. Do, how do you not f I mean, how how do you find a group of writers like that cuz the, the the thing in Hollywood, I've done 14 pilots that never went. Right. Finding writers is hard. Well, I, I wish I found them. They found me, you know. Uh, uh, they create, Josh Heald created Hot Tub Time Machine, and he actually wrote part for me in Hot Tub Time Machine. So I was right. in that, and then the creators of Harold and Kumar, John and uh, Hayden Schlossberg, and uh, they came with the pitch. But they're amazing. They're brilliant. And, they, had, you know, I think it comes from, uh, I think when you put your heart in and it's something you really love and you have, you know, I think there's something that's just going on making something to make something. But these guys had... You know, a lot of passion and a lot of talent to do it. Let me ask you this, because I'm big on manifesting on this show. I talk uh -huh. about it all the time. Yes. Um, did you have a feeling, um, let's say five years ago or ten years ago, that not necessarily this was going to come back, mm -hmm. but there was something big that was still yet to be discovered in your work? In my work, yeah, but more Meaning in like the a character. Big, uh, but I, yeah. you know, as far as like manifesting, like Johnny yeah. Lawrence, that there was something about about the character and about Johnny Lawrence that I wasn't kind of finished with, and I was always trying to exp find maybe what that might be. Um, so when this happened, yeah, it's like it, it was something that was I was kind of incubating for a long time, and I was like trying to figure it out. I actually did a music video in 2007 called "Sweep the Leg," which is a spoof of myself in the credit. It's great. It's a great oh, song. It's it. a great video, um, and uh, it was uh, the beginning of me turning back into like the Karate Kid and wondering what that would be. So when this landed, um, you know, it was it was the right thing, and. Yeah, so something about Sweep the leg. You that. know we're going to be playing that Mitchell's later. Sweep the leg. Yes, it's great. No more kings. <laughs> Pete Mitchell, shout out to you, buddy. I love it. I'm talking right. to William Zadka on the yeah. show. Cobra Kai, season two, you guys, streaming on YouTube Premium now, which is great because you can binge watch them all, right? They're going to yes. let you binge watch them? Yeah, yeah everybody should take off school today and, uh, and stay home from work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and, and you should because it it's that right good. Watch right now, yeah. How hard was it to get uh, all of Mr. Miyagi's old cars? Old, all of his old cars. Actually, one of them was uh, the yellow car. That is the old Ford is actually Ralph's. Ralph owns that car. You're so he, no, he just uh, he, he drove it. He actually was not. It was on sticks, but he had it rebuilt. But they brought that down. And the other ones, I think, are all replicas. I don't think they're 
the original ones. How neat, it, though. So. Have a little yeah. piece of, you know, yeah. Mr. Miyagi. Yeah, he got the car, and they gave me the old black headband. That's what I walked with. <laughs> <laughs> and a broken second-place trophy. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. At least it wasn't his shower curtain. Right, like, right. What the fuck do I need this for? <laughs> right, right. How far in advance do, do you or the producers plan the show? Do they give you um, room to, you know, put input? Yeah, I, at the beginning I had more say. Now they're writing them and they're, I'm getting a script, you know, and I get a, a little bit of advance. So I have adv- I have input on the set. I have input when I feel like I might do this different or that different. But I'm not crafting it. The guys are crafting it and I'm jumping in. And sometimes they push me in places where I don't want to go and I go kicking and screaming. And uh, But they're usually right. Most of they're right. You know. Isn't that funny? Yeah, you know, you got to trust the guys. It's it's about trust, you know. You can't do it, it all. Is. You can't act and be objective at the same time. You have to trust, you know. If you have good creators and a good team and you just jump in with both feet and do it. A hundred percent surrender. I, you know, you can micromanage yourself to death, you know what I mean? And like, uh, yes. and I do that. I, I'm like constantly like, oh, how about this and how about that? And, you know, um, you just have to settle in. There was one night when we did Karate uh, Cobra Kai season one where I went home from work and I was – I. It realized that Johnny Lawrence isn't me any isn't mine anymore, like because I went into this thing. I'm the shepherd of Johnny Lawrence. Like I know Johnny Lawrence. I know this character. I'm protective of him. Everything that happens from him, I, you know, I should have a I should have a final vote on, you know. And there was a couple scenes that I'm like, he's so far out of my hands now. And wow, but he's the same heart, but but totally creatively they took it. So yeah, it's a so great you had ride. to surrender that. That's yep. a good lesson for you. Surrender, let go. That's a good. Yep. That's a good thing. It is. Yeah. Do you do your own stunts or fight scenes? I do all my own stunts. Yes. Shut I do. I do all the still. All, still, yes. No, no, <laughs> it's so great. Yeah, well, all of them except uh, except some of the motorcycle stuff. I don't drive the motorcycle, and I have a stunt man on on set. Yeah, you know. So you learned all those kung fu moves. I did all those kung, karate moves. Karate, so, oh karate. My God, bad It's okay because a, a kung fu school. Too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You were you were in back to school with Rodney Dangerfield and Robert Robert Downey Jr. I mean, yeah. how was that experience? That like was Kinnison? so much fun. If I had to do another movie again, like any movie, anything I've ever done, I would do that again because it was so much fun. It was just it was it was kind of like the movie Offset too. I met da- I met Rodney Dangerfield in Elevator in Madison, Wisconsin, where we were filming it. And uh, I walk in, I hadn't met him yet, and he, and I see him in the elevator. He's got a robe on, his hair sticking up, all bloodshot eyes. I roll in my suitcase. I'm like, hey, Ronnie, Billy Zapkin playing uh, Chaz. He goes, yeah, yeah, I know you on your. What are you doing in your robe? He goes, I got to get the, pot, the sauna. I got to get the pot out of my lungs. He no. Goes, you, you're young, you can handle it. Yeah, he was fun. <laughs> Sam Kiss was great. Robert Downey and I used to hang out in his room at, at the end of the days. So we'd jam. He'd have his keyboard, play his Casio. I'd play my guitar. And we'd go to the frat parties around town, Terry Farrell and Keith Gordon. Oh my God, it was a fun. blast. It was a total blast. Have they re- they didn't do try to do a remake of that to have they? I've heard that it was on the deck some at some points. I was just talking. I would love to see that redone, you know, or not redone, but like actually a sequel with like I'd love to be the diving teacher or the diving. Coach I would love that. that. You know what I'm saying? You, and you could be in that. it. You should be in it. <laughs> I'll play the uh, old dean or something like that. <laughs> what are um What are some of the small things that fans notice in the series that you're so surprised? Um, the fans noticed. Yeah. Uh, the, Were you like, wow, they're really picking up on this, or uh, just the, you know, to pl- just the nuance, I think, and what's what's playing underneath the scenes, and the, um, you know, I love that. It was, it was kind of a risk to go out and play Johnny as a real person with real heart, and right. play him in the belly, and not project him, and not, you know, try to be who he was yesterday. And right. so people are connecting with, uh, with, like you said at the beginning, his humanity and stuff. So yeah, that's not surprising, but I love that. I do too. I'm yeah. talking to William Zach. Co- Co- Cobra Kai is the name of the show, you guys. On season, t- it's season two, streaming on YouTube Premium right now. Obviously, you're going to be associated with Ralph Macchio. Yes, <laughs> for a while. <laughs> for the rest now. of my life, the odd couple. For the rest of your life. Yeah. Are Are you guys friends in real life? Yeah, we're good friends in real life. Yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah, we. Yeah. And, and and is there anything that would surprise us about him as a person off screen? Oh yeah, I'm so excited. That's why I really came on today. I wanted to talk about <laughs> Give it to me. Let me tell you everything. Uh, no, he's great. I mean, we, we're, we're, you know, there's an episode in the, in the first season called Different But Same. Different But Same. And we it's the one where we're listening to REO Speedwagon together. We're in the car together. We have a beer, an accidental beer together. Um, and Johnny and Daniel maybe almost sort of become friends. But then something happens, and of course. And um, so Ralph and I are very di- different but same in many ways. And uh, we're both true. from New York. I'm, I actually was born in the city, lived in Long Island until I was a kid. He's from Long Island. Um, 
but our off camera antics are so fun. I mean, we, you know, we'll drive home where we're, we have the same complaints, the same, you know, <laughs> thoughts and, uh, you know, so. Same bitching out. Same bitching. Like yeah. You know, we get, we drive, we get lost together, you know, we crank the music together. It's fun. You know, we have a good time. You know, back in the day, you didn't have to worry as much about your, you know, your, because every actor kind of knows this, but your mic and your mic's on even when you're on break. Right. And you forget. So you have conversations. You usually bitch about the director or somebody else. Are you much more aware now, now that these kinds of things are getting leaked? Oh, well, yeah. I mean, I do that anyway. When I'm done with my scene and I'm, it's like lunch or whatever, or even if I'm going to go out and do a wardrobe change, that mic's pulled out. Yeah. But really, I, so I don't care about leaks. I'm not, I'm not worried about what I'm saying. It's just like, I don't, you know. I talk so much smack. You talk so much smack. <laughs> I talk so <laughs> much shit. Yeah, but you do it on your show. You get to just do it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but if you, you go back into the day, oh, right, man. Oh, right, right, right. You know, just all I have to do is pull up my the, from the view in between commercials. I'm like, fucking bitch. <laughs> 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 like I, I'm surprised it wasn't arrested yet. <laughs> hey, the million dollar question that I'm sure people ask you constantly, and I'm sorry, but I'm asking again. What about the uh, possibility of Elizabeth Shue? possibility is uh i would love to see that happen uh maybe we will i don't know i can't really say too much about that johnny's uh loves her he's a big part of her you know his it's his heart walking of around course. out there you know so i'd love Could to see something first. happen there yeah maybe it's happening now we don't know but mm. uh she's great i love his i love elizabeth we, lisa we call her lisa you know? lisa yeah and, she's great and, and, and as an actor, it's so fun to watch people create their own backstories. Yeah. So with her, was she like, did you picture her as your first? And Yeah. I mean, you developed your own, I would imagine. Yeah, she was, you know, that was right after high school for me. So I had a high school girlfriend. It was the first love. So, yeah, that was her, you know. Mm. Yeah, it was, it was what I felt, but she didn't feel that way. She's the only <laughs> one that hit me in the Karate Kid. Every time every time in the in the cafeteria scene or in the uh, in the country club scene when Daniel comes in and gets spaghetti on him and I laugh and she punches me, she hit me every time. So, Oh, you're right. Yeah, she, she would crack me every time, yeah. Maybe she should join. So this Johnny, <laughs> Johnny had feelings for her, but she was kind of over it. But I think at the end, she still, you know, it was, she was just playing games, you know. I would love to see that. I'd do. love to see her come back. That would be me amazing. Yeah. William Zatka, you better come back because I'm going to watch season uh, three uh, or be on it. One of the two. Cobra right. Kai. Yep. Promise I wouldn't talk shit about you on my microphone. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'll, I'm going to keep my mic on next time when I do it. I'll bring you some good juicy stuff that I say <gasps> off camera. I would totally love That'd that. That'd be good. Be we can make a little, you know. That would be you know, so much fun. Put them together and see what happens. <laughs> I love that. Cobra Kai, you guys, make sure you check it out. I promise you it is just as much fun as you want it to be. Thank you so much. Thank Send you. Send my love to everyone, will you? I, I will. Thanks, Jenny. Jenny McCarthy Show. Oh.